Hey boys and boys, it's Monday and my room is really empty and there's boxes as you can see because I am planning on moving after I have top surgery done, which is six days away. This time next week I will hopefully be awake and chestless. Um, so this will be my last video on a Monday at least for a while. Um, I'm going to try and upload, but there's something on my screen. Anyways, um, but uh, it probably won't be on Monday. Um, so, I'm gonna have someone fill in for my Monday spot, and I'll probably upload, like, on Saturday or something, you know, just little updates about, you know, I'll try and stick with the topic, and, um, oh my god, this thing on my screen is making me crazy! Ah! Okay, I got it. Um, alright, so yeah, that's the deal with, um, that. So, I believe, I don't want to ruin the surprise, never mind, I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna say who is filling in for me next week. Um... Okay, this week's topic is actually Alex's topic, and he wants to know what our life goals are and how we plan on achieving them. Um, I feel that I've tried to plan for my life, you know, when I was younger, and it just didn't work out. So um, I've decided I'm going to make some, you know, more short-term goals, and right now I'm going to move into the apartment in Albany and I'm going to go to UAlbany hopefully in the fall and I'm going to see how that treats me. But one day, whether it be for grad school or like senior, you know, whether I transfer over there when like junior or senior year, um, grad school, whatever, I will go to the University of Southern California because it has been like my dream school for so long. Like when I started looking at schools, like that school immediately caught my eye. It has everything I want to, you know, it has gender studies. It has a fucking marching band. Um, I love marching bands. <laughs> it has an amazing LGBT community. Um, and I mean, it's in LA, which isn't my f like favorite. Like I went there when I was nine and it's all like, like smoggy and shit, but you know, be right on, you know, like I can travel to the, to the Pacific and learn to surf or something. Um, but that has always been a dream of mine. Uh, I also want to travel, like a lot. Like, um, I'm stoked to be going to Cleveland because I've never been there. So that's really exciting. And hopefully I'll be able to do some, like, actual, like, um, traveling while I'm there. Um, let's see. So I want to travel a lot. I want to go to the University of Southern California. I really want to do something um, epic for the com community. Like, my goal in life is to do something that will leave an impact on the world. I mean, I feel like it's everyone's goal, but I feel like if I can help people, and if I can leave my mark, if I can make an impact on somebody's life, then my life is complete. I mean, people have already told me that I have, and it's it's really, it's a really weird feeling. Um... My computer's about to overheat. Um, I'm gonna slip a book underneath it. I love how I'm just, like, rambling. But I'm gonna do more rambling. And it's gonna be, like, the longest, like, boys and boys video I've ever made. Um. Ah, sociology. I really need to invest in, like, a laptop, like, cooling thing. Um. <laughs> anyways. Um. So. I wanna make an impact. I wanna go to the University of Southern California. I wanna travel. I'm really dying to go back to Phoenix, but I think I'm going to wait until I'm 18. Um, so hopefully next year. And, uh, in 2012, I want to go to San Francisco Pride. Like, 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 that's what I want to go. Hopefully the world doesn't end in 2012, because I'm not ready for it to end. At all. Um, like, I feel like that's the reason my parents are letting me get top surgery. I won't lie. Because <laughs> the world is going to end. Um, ooh. Okay, um, let's see. So, I guess that's it, really. Um, I mean, there are little things that I want to do that seem a little bit out there. Like, I've always wanted to play with the Trans-Siberian Orchestra, like, play in the orchestra and, like, travel with them, but that's not going to happen. They're, like, Russian or whatever. And um, I've always wanted to be in a band and play a show, and I was in a band, and we had one song, and we could never keep the timing, and it was just a fail. And um, I don't know. I just, I have, like, so much I want to do. But, you know, I'll make a bucket list. Oh, I've already made a bucket list. Like, my goal one day, I'm going to drive on the Autobahn. Because that's fucking cool. I love driving fast. <laughs> so my goals are kind of strange. I'm not like, oh, I want to be a doctor! You know? No. No, that's not me. I'm very spontaneous. 
And if I, you know, end up poor on the street, at least I'll have lived my life. <laughs> um, all right. Let's see. Alex asked, besides this question, how do you get along with your parents? Oh, jeez. Um, my parents and I have this weird relationship, and it's like, I mean, I can get along with them as long as they're not drunk. Once they start drinking, they start bickering, or like, if they're in the mood, like, if they're stressed out, they'll start, like, everyone in the house gets stressed out, and we'll all start picking at each other, it's really bad. So, uh, I have a feeling that once I move out, it'll be a lot better, and that our relationship will grow stronger, um, which is really weird, but it's the truth. Um, I always get along with them better when I'm away from them for longer periods of time, because I don't have to deal with them every day, but, yeah. Alright, um, Casey asked, what are you looking forward to this summer besides running around shirtless? <laughs> I want to learn how to wakeboard. I hope I can do that, because I know the top surgery will probably keep me from doing it, but I really want to learn how to wakeboard. I can't wait to go out to Long Island and just hang out with my friends on the beach. Um, I want to go sailing. That's another thing I want to do this summer. I want to go, I want to really learn how to sail our sunfish. Like, I learned when I was little, and I could probably do it, but I remember, like, flipping over the boat and, like, freaking out, and I got my pants caught on the rudder, and it was just really funny and bad. And, uh, my dad laughed at me a lot, but, yeah. Um, I'm excited to take my classes, um, that I'm taking, and I'm hoping to get this job at Park Playhouse, which is kind of just, like, this, this theater thing they do in the Washington Park, and, um, that would be really fun to, like, stand around, hang out with my friends from Albany, and just basically, you know, get paid for watching a play every night. Um, but that's really, you know, like, it would be really exciting, because, like, I really like theater, and I- oh, that's another thing. I really want to act in Broadway. I don't let most people know that, but I would love to be in a Broadway show someday. Um, probably not going to happen as well. But! Keep an open mind. All right. But those are things I'm looking forward to this summer. I mean, there's, like, a lot. Moving out will be nice, too. All right. My question has to do with the day. Today is May 17th, and it is the International Day Against Homophobia. Okay. I Wikipedia International Day Against Transphobia, and supposedly today is the International Day Against Transphobia as well. But it is all bunched together under the label homophobia. What the fuck? <laughs> homophobia and transphobia are two different things. So, before I go on a really long tangent, seeing as how my video is over seven minutes long, I just want to know, do you believe, like, my question to everyone, to everyone, you feel free to answer this in your own video, down below in the comments, whatever. Do you believe that the International Day of Homophobia should be the same as the International Day of Transphobia, or should they be split apart? And why or why not? Obviously... I think we need an international day against transphobia because that shit is so different from the international day of homophobia and I hate that it is bunched together and that's why people think that being trans is just a sexuality and just a phase and shit like that. No! It's completely different. Gender identity and sexuality are two different things. Ah! Okay. That is my 8 minute video. Um, it's gonna be longer than 8 minutes now. But, okay, next week, check my channel, um, I'll be up uploading from Cleveland, hopefully I'll have video of me waking up, um, and just, I hope everyone has a good, you know, couple weeks, I don't know when I'll be back exactly, but I will definitely catch up on the topics, and I will be back, and you will enjoy the people who are filling in for me. Alright, so, have a good week, um, hit me up on my personal channel if you want, I'll be there. Alright, sorry this video is so long. <laughs> Peace.